Hello everyone. In this video, what I'm going to do is just go over some basics about logarithms. Some de basic definitions, how the graph works, and just kind of ho hopefully some uh, points about them that will help let you understand more about what, what we use them for and just the basic functionality. So let's start with the basic definition. We have, I'm going to put in general form, I have log base v of x equals y is a the traditional way it's written. So even though it looks like down here, this is b to the power x, it is not. We say that is log base b of x equal to y. And logs are basically another way of writing exponentials. They are often a way of understanding how do we figure out a certain exponential. So for example, let me say, if I want to know two to what power is eight, in other words, two times itself, how many times gives me eight, we can use a log to figure that out. Now you might just automatically know that's gonna be two to the power of three. But that also, since we have an exponential, two to the power of three equals eight, we can also say log base two of eight equals three. And this is what's known as changing between exponential and log form. So in other words, I have a logarithm because I have an exponential and vice versa. Notice the logarithm here that I made has the same base as the exponential. So the log base two of eight is the solution to two to what power equals eight, or that's how you'd figure it out. And that's what they represent. Again, another way of writing ex exponentials, and in fact, they are inverses of one another. Like I said, if we have one, we have the other. Beyond that, I could say two to the power of four equals 16, but then I can also say log base two of 16 equals four. And the base can vary, but the rules are the base has to be bigger than zero and cannot be equal to one. As far as our domain, let me write domain here to be clear. Domain of our basic log function now. So this is our basic log function. Is gonna be x is greater than zero. Just has to be, po to be positive. In other words, you cannot put a negative number inside the log. So I could not say, for example, find log of negative three. Your calculator would say it's impossible and it, definition wouldn't work either. The range for any log function, any basic log function, and I say basic meaning that I haven't modified it in any way, is all real numbers. And if you recall, From your, from your knowledge of exponentials, for an exponential, things are just reversed. The domain of an exponential is all reals. And the range of an exponential is y is greater than zero as opposed to x greater than zero. So in true inverse fashion, fashion they, are, they are switched. The domain of one is the range of the other and vice versa. Now for a basic graph, I'm gonna do a sketch and then I'll show you an actual graph. Basic graph of a log. And this is why I'm gonna show you an actual graph because my drawing is not the best looks like so.
In fact, let me give myself some more space here. In fact, we have two types of basic law graphs. This first one that I drew here in red, this is when our base is bigger than one. Meaning this is anything from log base two, log base three, and so on. And what's important to note is this point here, I highlighted it because in your basic log function, it's always the same. It is always one, zero the x-intercept, I should specify. Likewise, over here, this point is still one, zero. And this is the graph for a base which is between zero and one. In other words, it's a fraction less than one. So log base one half, log base one third, et cetera. And although it looks like if those who are who are, might be familiar with limits, it looks like uh, the way I drew it, there's a limit to these, there is not. It's just the way that these draw. They do increase uh, very slowly, but they do increase to infinity. Now to give you a better rendering of this, I will turn to Desmos. Now you can see here, the basic graph of, of log base two of X. And as you can see here, this point is eight, three. So that is the equivalent of log base two of eight equals three. And here's the point one zero. And again, I can change the base on these graphs, on these logs. But the only thing that is really, I'm gonna change this to four, for example. The only thing that it really changes is just the shape of the graph. Let's be consistent. So you can see as my base increased, the sharpness of that turn, let's call it, increases. So log base two in red, you can see how it gradually increases. Log base four, it increases even at a more gradual rate. But you can see they both go to the point one zero. And if I were to do the opposite, log and let's put in base Let's say uh, one divided by two. Let me be more specific. I want to say 0.5. Didn't really like my fractions down there. So I put 0.5 just because I think the program prefers decimals when it comes to this. You can see it's the reverse. It starts in the quadrant one, ends up in quadrant two. But nonetheless, they go through the same point, all of these. Now, also you can see based on the domain I mentioned, the graph never crosses the vertical axis, which just reinforces that the domain is positive x values or non-negatives. And the y value, the range, you can see it can be both positive and negative. Now, negative values from logs come from analyzing fractions. So, for example, just stick with my base 2. Log base 2 of 1 8th equals some number. If I change to an exponential, I can say 2 to the power x is 1 over 8. If you recall, if I make this a negative 3, 
Remember, a negative exponent doesn't mean a negative number. It means you take the reciprocal, which would be 1 over 2 to the power of 3, which is where I get my 1 eighth. So what that means is log base 2 of 1 eighth is a negative 3. And that's where those negative values will come in. Finally, last thing I'm going to go over is two types of specific logs. We have the standard log. And this is also referred to as the common log, depending on what source you check. So standard log or common log. Either way, it is a log with base 10. Now it's traditionally written as log of x like this. So if you don't see a base, you can always assume that the base is 10. And the graph looks the same as the one up here in red. Still through the point one zero, it's just everything's based on base 10. And then we have our natural log. And that is either log base E, as I've written here, or more traditionally, it's written as natural log like this, LN, as a lot of people say. And going one step further, usually it's even written like this. So when you see a ln x like this, or really it should be pronounced natural log, we assume the base is e. Again, e being the non-terminating, non-repeating decimal, 2.7182, and so on. And again, because that base, that number is bigger than one, both of these are going to mimic this graph here in red. And they will both go through the point one zero. The other points will be slightly varied, but they still would look just like that. So I hope this helps you in your math endeavors. This is a basic summary of logs. Again, logs, I have, this is not with any transformations or translations. It's your basic log graphs and their properties. So I hope this helps and have a good day.